What's going on, everybody? Eddie Soundhead back once again here with Soundhead Entertainment, and we are here today in Superstar Racing Experience, the game for the very first time here on the channel. For my very first time, even though this game's been out for like a month now, this is gonna be my first time playing it because I am the slowest working content creator of all time, and I've just come to accept that, I think. So while I apologize for that, we will keep on marching forward and try to dissect this game and see if it's a bucket of bolts or if it's actually worth playing, even though it seems like a NASCAR heat recently skin gone right because it does seem to have been polished up a little bit including the paint booth which is actually an improvement over the nascar heat paint booth so shout out to them for actually managing to do that and uh, allowing me to create an absolute abomination of a car as you saw there now for the rest of this i mean you pretty much have all the features you'd expect out of a standard racing game in 2021 uh, and it's basically just nascar heat 5 srxified so i i cannot drive that home enough really does seem that way so we're gonna jump into a quick race today we're just gonna stick with the srx even though they do have multiple different racing series here including those stadium super trucks which from what i'm told i haven't driven them but i have been told and i have seen video footage of those being goofy as all hell so we might have to try those out in a future video because those seem just downright weird like their stadium super trucks gone wrong and i don't understand how that could be possible but it is and then also we have slinger winner who just doesn't exist yet so he's just slinger winner or she shout out to them and then you have our bum ass who we are obviously going to pick to race with so now that we've got that settled and sorted, we can now look at the track assortment. And you'll see that some of these are very much real. Some of them are just down the road from the Fountain of Youth. So we've got a nice little mix to pick from. And today we're just gonna mess with Stafford because that of course is where SRX is gonna totally kick off at. We'll make sure our settings are good to go. I'm thinking this will put up a fair fight, but I guess we'll find out. Let's jump into it. So we're ready and rolling here. Looks like we're going to be on the second row off of Stafford Speedway, a racetrack in Connecticut that I know nothing about. But hopefully that will not be important because the universal task at most racetracks is to get to the finish line before the rest of these bums do. So that's what we're going to try to do. Three minutes, 40 seconds in heat one. I already overshot the first corner. Damn near threw it away. In the three wide we go right from the get go. And we make it stick on the bottom yes we do all right so this is already an action filled first lap that we needed and we're not going to be keeping track of laps i guess we're going to be keeping track of how much time is left and the time for ernie francis jr to be in second place is up we get past him and now we got to hunt down the man who put most of this series together alongside ray Evernham. it's tony smoke stewart we got three minutes to try to hunt down one of the best of all time and keep these animals behind us. I don't know if we can do it. Well, this will go down in history as a, an event that definitely took place. Heat number one is coming to a close. And we did not get anywhere near Tony Stewart, but nobody else got anywhere near us. So I call that a net win in my book. Well, here we are starting at the ass end of the field for Heat 2 which I actually am a fan of. Let's go ahead and get through this field. Me and Tony Stewart are gonna have this task. So uh, fine by me, we'll go ahead and cut him off, kill his momentum and size up all of these various maniacs from different fields of racing. As we got 2000 NASCAR champion Bobby Labonte on our outside. We got seven time Trans Am legend, Ernie Francis Jr. Who's like only a year older than me. That really makes me question what I've been doing with my life. We got Tony Ganon, IndyCar fame. We got Awesome Bill. We got the Andretti's in the house. That's Marco, I do believe. And uh, it's just there's racing royalty represented at all, all corners of this series. And also on my inside corners in the form of Tony Stewart. And we're going three wide with Michael Waltrip on the outside. And he is a gem of this league. It's great to see him behind the wheel and on TV as we are just in charge of a massive pack here. This is a dicey, dicey field to try to race our way through, but I think we've gotten past the animals and the monsters, except for Paul Tracy. We gotta get past him before things get weird. Keep your shoes out of sight. Let's just move along. Got Willie T. Ribs up next in second. We have at least moved our way onto the podium here. But uh, the problem is Tony Stewart has followed us right through Every single move we've made, he has mirrored it behind us. So that, oh, except for that one when I goof up. Thankfully, he slams on the brakes rather than take advantage. All right, Willie, I'm going to need a little bit of help here, but I'm going to breathe on that back bumper and let you know that we have got to go. I need you to do something for me. 
get to the baby back baby back baby back and that's gonna do it oh he's going he moved right out of the way that is oh my god that might have been better than the intimidate button i'm just gonna start singing to everybody they get so scared and freaked out they have no choice but to forget how to drive and then how fitting is this up here in front of us so we got doug kobe the winner of this event in the lead and the track champion like a million times over of Stafford too. Got a got a shout out to that. See, that's the beauty of SRX right there. They key you into somebody you may not have known about. And we've keyed into the lead. And we might not hold it for long because Tony Stewart is crawling up my ass. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to make a pull away maneuver. Well, when the first pick of the SRX draft, we traded Tony Stewart for Helio Castroneves, one legend for another, a four-time Indy 500 champion breathing down my neck for the last 20 seconds is not what i had on my wish list jumping up the corner and missing it is just giving him all the opportunities to try to get by me so we got to put a couple of nice corners together here head has to be placed back on shoulders please and thank you there's no need to be throwing this one away no need for ed choke head to make an appearance as the clock winds down and we tick over to two laps to go halfway down the back stretch we will be coming to this white flag I think we're going to be able to hold off Elio Castroneves as long as I don't throw it away. There's a little traditional victory scrape of the wall, even though we haven't won yet. We're just signaling the inevitable. Final corner. Can't mess that one up. I just about do. We'll slide it off the corner like the pros do it for the fans and get that heat to dub over Elio. And Tony Stewart and Bobby Labonte. We just dunked on early 2000s JGR. What's up? Well, this is it. I feel like we're at a UFC show and I'm about to get my ass knocked clean out. This is the main event. We got five rounds. I don't know how many laps, but it's over for your boy. Green flag is out. We are underway and I'm running for my life. We got Castro Nevis in pursuit. We get clear though, down the back stretch with a clean shot. It looks like we're going to have a pretty uncontested opening lap. 25 laps. One of them's down. Let's keep it moving. Oh, that was on the gas way too early. That's going to give Tony the look he wanted on a damn silver platter, you son of a motherless goat. I will have my revenge. The crossover move. Can we get into him? Do I need to get into him? I'll just send it. Oh, we. Oh, I think that was safe. I think that was safe. Don't you dare say I touched that man. I had never seen him in my life. Come on, we gotta complete this pass. We can, oh, we can really do it if we just run him off the damn road. A foolproof strategy right there. You cannot be beaten if you just ram everybody until they come find you in the garage after the race and drop you on your friggin' head. But we kind of have a natural helmet in our skull because of how often that has happened to us, given our antics. So much so that it's affecting how I drive and it's now letting Ilio Castroneves is back into this picture as I am just flailing this car into the corners and failing miserably. And Castroneves just passes me like I'm not even here. All right, see you later. I've been dusted. Oh, wait a minute. Cutting half of the racetrack just helped right there. Maybe I need to try that again. Oh, I tried on ass pack instead. See you later, Ilio. Oh, he lost a million spots because of that. I am an awful human being. It's all right, though. It's okay. I'll just wall it as a little self payback for you. Don't worry, Ilio. I am the judge, jury, and executioner of this league. Appointed by myself. And Tony Stewart's probably about to try the same maneuver on me here. He looks about ready to send my ass a few rows deep. Oh, sweet Jesus with the looseness. Oh, oh it's falling apart. No. Oh, a collapse of monumental proportions has taken place. We might be doomed. I'm keeping my foot in it, but that might actually be the worst choke imaginable. I don't even know how to explain that. Lack of talent, for one. Uh, just lack of <laughs> black. How about just lack? Lack in. Caught lacking. There you go. All right. I should probably put my brain cells together and focus on catching back up to Tony Stewart, huh? Let's, let's really think about this because we are running out of laps to get this done. And getting corner exits like that is not going to help anybody. Six laps to go. 
We just gotta get, if we could just get close enough, if we get like within two or three car lengths, I could just send him into a new dimension. That is always an option, but I'd like to try to win this cleanly, or at least somewhat within the realm of realistic cleanliness. But I will also put him on Mars with Elon Musk. That is a, that, that's fully within my wheelhouse of capabilities. I will do it. What may not be in my wheelhouse of capabilities is getting to his ass in the first place. While I'm getting here now, slowly but surely, I'm seeing some progress here. If I uh, don't get so fired up, maybe we can actually put together a corner entry and exit and somebody else has just completely failed to do so. I think that was Andretti. What kind of doofus dumps it in front of leaders with like four to go? What a rap scallion. And in all the drama, we have gotten right to the buns of Tony Stewart. So I think we could just set him up two to go. Can we get a little practice run at the send job? How do we, how should we do this? I'm thinking right here on the next lap, we just send it in there. Cooking, lick it and send it. Not as deep as I did on that one. And in fact, I just may have cost myself some of the room to work with. Let me get a great exit on this corner. Oh, we did. All right. Just gonna send it. Come on. Come on, Tony. Oh, nice, 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 nice. Bobble, there's the bobble. There's the bobble. Just <laughs> gas it. I don't even care. We just wrecked the car. I just destroyed the car. But we got to that line first, baby. That is a dub. You can't take it from me. Tony Stewart is gonna choke slam me from the flag stand. And it's deserved. Totally. Linda, the replay booth. We have to watch the end of this race over again. Andretti walls it, or whoever's in that white car. Really close the gap between Tony and us. Then, in the last lap, you just gotta lick the stamp and send it sometimes. We get out of the corner side by side, almost wrecking into the infield, then come all the way across the track to the outside wall and finish it off by getting ass-packed by Tony Stewart himself to get the channel inaugural SRX victory and look at the field, look at the results. And I think we're gonna be looking at some more SRX game here in the near future because that was a genuinely good time. That was freaking awesome. That race had no business being that good. Like, I don't know if that's indicative of the rest of the game, but I have a feeling we're gonna come back and be doing plenty more of this. So if you enjoyed it, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for me, it helps me out a ton. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what else you want to see down in the comments below. And with that, I will see all your lovely faces in the next one. Peace.